Hey guys, and welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. This is the Angry GM, and I wanted to welcome each and every one of you. Um, you may be wondering why I'm doing an intro here, even though I did two, and I, I said I wasn't going to. Um, I'm actually redoing Amnesia Machine for Pigs because I just got a brand new graphics card from a uh, from a friend of mine, a Steam user by the name of Doctor X. If you see him, give him a great big hug for me and thank him, thank him, thank him, because now I can provide you guys with actual high quality video, so you can see what the hell is going on. Um, I also wanted to say that I I did kind of put my foot in my mouth because I was, the, a lot of the things that I was complaining about were. Um, graphics related, and I did not realize that the lack of sanity effects was also graphics related. There were a great many of options that I had turned off that affect your sanity effects. So, um, there you go. We're going to jump right into it. I'm going to try and plow through it as fast as I can and get up to where we were as quickly as possible. Alright, so here we go. Now, this should make viewing these significantly easier. Um, and right now, um, my videos are only going to be about 20 minutes in time. That's about how much space I have on my hard drive to spare for this right now. But a friend of mine is selling me an external hard drive, so I'll be able to record bigger videos for you guys. So that'll be nice. Here we go. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. Dr. Samuel Johnson. Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. a lot better. That's for damn sure. Sorry if I seem a little sniffly tonight. Um, I've actually got quite bad allergies, so I've been sneezing like crazy. And I've got some antihistamines in me, but they haven't quite kicked in yet, so... Um, Alright, I'm going to read the notes, but I'm going to try and blaze through and get back where we were as fast as we can. Um, I'm also uh, very soon going to be taking down the old videos, so this way, you know, you guys just get the good stuff, so... In my dreams, I see a man, dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated all, us all. The fetid heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there is something alive there. A rat. A damn rat. Gnawing through my brains. Eating its way out into the world. Even the laudanum will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. 
What desperate thoughts are these? Now, as I said, I'm going to try and plow through this as fast as possible. So since I've done this before, I roughly know where to go, but I'm going to give you guys all of the story I can manage. Daddy, Daddy, find us. So that way you guys have as much idea of what's going on as I do. So, my journal, a fever dream. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and fecund sepulchre, beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bottles, eh, uh, bottles, <laughs> may be found. No matter, my children call and I shall answer. I will find them. Bottle children. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. No note in here, but this room basically, I guess, establishes that um, that the main character, Mandis's uh, wife, died in childbirth. So, you know, they establish that real fast, and that is that. And then we've got this room over here, which has a mirror bathtub, which is creepy. I really, really don't like this main character. He's, like, less and less likable every time I, like, poke around at this Papa, game. Papa, Papa, this way. Ball. Creepy. Okay. You're locked. You get blown open. <laughs> Shit rattling around upstairs. Attics and nurseries. But they slept in the attic when they were babes in arms, and perhaps they have hidden there now? Now? I, I, I remember I insisted upon it midway between my bedroom and my office. Alrighty. There's a bad man coming. Damn right there is. I am pretty much a bad, bad man. Alright. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. There's that busy. Ugh. Redundancy. He has gone for work before she wakes us, and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing, gave it to Nanny, who said it was a filthy thing, and hit it with a rolling pin. That could have been an and. Later we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. Everyone. There's no why there either. Uh, there was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. Then Daddy came and said there, that we had to come inside. That we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. Sorry, I get picky about in-game notes. I've played entirely too many horror games where it was like, I trap in box in ground. Scary. And it's, and even that's misspelled. So it's like, yeah. Okay, I got my green lantern. Lantern, fuck yeah, green lantern. I'm gonna punch something with my brain. Okay, nothing that way. Pull a box. Pig mask. Get the fuck out of the way. All right. Trying to move as fast as I can. We're hiding, Daddy. Just to give as, no, as much coverage and close as much distance between me and where I was as I, as I can per video. So I only have about 20 minutes per recording right at the moment, but that will, that will change very soon here. I'm very happy about that. So pretty soon I'm going to be able to give you guys like really meaty recordings, like an hour long, so I'll be able to do games that have save points, like White Day which I'm really looking forward to, because that game is scary as fuck. Alright, looks like the frame rate's starting to go down, which means I'm running out of space. Yes, he said, I know these ruins. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some malodorous disease. I caught him looking at me strangely, as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them. Biting back the temptation to box his ears through the impudence, I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anyway. 
I have told the children, truly, this will be an extraordinary adventure. If those old stones hold the financial benefits, I predict it will be merely the first of many. And I think we have established that these are... He's talking about the Orb of Brennenberg and its sister orbs, which were mentioned in the uh, first game, that there was more than two that were in there. I think there were two. Daddy. All right. Now, I don't have enough recording time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to breach the video right here. I want to showcase this painting room, so I'm going to do that at the beginning of a video. Um, so, thank you all for coming. I'm going to upload this, and then I'm going to get right back into it. I want to get back to where we were as fast as possible. So, you guys have a great night. This has been the Angry GM, and if anyone needs me, I'll be off sulking in the corner. Good night. Ha! Fooled you, it was a double in disguise. Welcome back, I'm the Angry GM, and I found out that I have a lot more recording time than I initially thought I did, so... Um, I did my outro, but I'm gonna go back to the video. Ha ha, anyway. Alright, so, we've got this painting room that I wanted to show off. Because, uh, the first time I saw this, I was just... just blown away at how good this looks. Um... Now, great. Now, granted, the content of the paintings is, uh, uh, you know, their artistic value is a subject of debate, sure. There's a lot of very bizarre and unusually, like, stress-inducing paintings. But it's just, you know, the, 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 like I said in the original attempt, this is... You know, this is, uh, in the original Amnesia, it was, it was, um, I mean, they were paintings, but they were few and far between, and they were kind of okay, but they were, they were unimaginative. They were, there wasn't a lot of variety to them. That's why in a lot of mods, you see the, uh, the you know, them trying to write off the Alexander painting, but there's just so many different paintings and sizes and shapes and just, this room is so well put together. This this room actually feels like a um, like it belongs in a rich person's house. So that's kind of cool. You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful Martin bills. Uh, no, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, where the Ministry sent me. That they have concerns. Cause fuck that De Martinville guy. This one's mine. But yeah, no, good on you, Frictional. Good on you. This looks great. This looks fucking spectacular. Man, that still gets me. Bing bong. You know, it makes me wonder. That's the the Big Ben chimes. I have to I have to wonder if we're actually in London. I mean, everybody's got pseudo British accents, so I would I would assume we're in at least you know somewhere in the English countryside. Hello. Precious. Eagle cactus fruit. Help us. You know that telephone with the two bells and the speaker right there? It looks like a really excited face. Doesn't it? It's like, holy shit, you're talking to me! Alright, there's a note in here. Enough dicking about. Where is it? I know it's in here. There it is. Oh. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep once the children and servants are safely asleep when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune, that my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied without pay, without tire? by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills. But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. My rifle. Alright, creep 
kids. Okay. Mask there where mask was none. Also, the door is in a different position than I left it, and that's kind of a nice touch, actually. Replacement is dissatisfactory. So like a pump. Better the intestinal canal, like a tapeworm, already hosting intrusion on the breed. Brass, better than copper, more resistant. Filaments, sewn to bone, hold. Marrow pipe removal with needle potential. Composite replacement straightforward. Will respond to electromagnetic inducement to increase yield rate. Serum provides accelerated reset, reset, resetting, not resettling. Resetting resulting in naturalized movement within two to three days. Subjects still require severing of frontal lobe to reduce emotional distress upon reactivation. Damn! Damn it! Damn this wretched soul! If only it were clockwork! Okay. This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Now, for those of you who have not been paying attention, Mandus, the main character, is chasing after his children in his house, which means that uh, the, the, the notes indicate that the owner of the house also built the machine. So. I am the builder of the machine. I did all this terrible stuff, so Mandus is a fucking dickbag, and I hate being him. I just wanted that absolutely clear. So, we've also established that he is a fucking creeper, like, professional creeper. Takes pictures of people in the baths. He likes to draw dead bodies. I mean, he takes photos at a bathroom mirror of things that people should not be really doing, posing neatly, like this photo. This lady has a baby. Why would you do that in front of a mirror? Why would you pose that perfectly? I don't know. And having three heads. I totally stole that joke from the earlier cut. I'm gonna keep it. Too bad if you don't like it, lulz. Well, that's... Bleh. In Lily's honor, a banquet. Four glassy orbs fixed upon a point in heaven. Wipe down your trousers, man. There is blood in this sweat, and it is most unseemly. And I think the four glassy orbs are referring to the, the, um, the orbs from Dark Descent, so... But these loading screen dialogues are so hard to understand. They're they're very um, uh, they're they're very arcane in their in their approach. I think is the best way to describe it. They're very it, it's very metaphorical or completely out of context. Um, okay, now I'm gonna look over this next room and yeah, there goes the frame rate. So um, uh, now I'm gonna cut it. So. Thank you guys for coming. This has been the Angry GM, and this has been your double episode. Good night.